Hello, good morning. Yes, I will briefly give you an introduction to our work package one. Uh, our goal is there to... Okay. So how do you go further? Just pre press on the right, left button. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Nicely working. So, so this is technology. You just have to get used to it. So I will give you a uh, short introduction to the process. How do we identify those uh, major technologies? You can hear me? Yes, okay. Yes. And uh, then show you about the relationships between those big visions, enabling technologies, and then to the main point, to the characteristics of those technologies. And then conclusions. So our call in Work Package 1, which by the way is um, involved, all the partners are in, involved in this Work Package, but we did this the leader, is, our call is to identify the emerging ICTs and likely areas of application of these technologies. And this is a huge task for anyone. So uh, we try to kind of um, make a structure for our work, so we identify here, the, like Bern said, the big visions. And then we are talking about artifacts, which are, let's say, the tec techniques. Philip, am, am I right? Techniques. And then we go. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah. And then we go to the applications. So here is an example. We have an, uh, let's say, ambient intelligence or ambient assisted living. And then we have here uh, artifacts like RFID jacks, mobile phones, server, and sensor networks, probably. And the application area is then uh, healthcare for elderly people. And you can go to the more detailed uh, description where you could say that it's a diabetes uh, treatment for elderly people. Okay, so, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm just saying once a word, meta vignette. But <laughs> it's more like a technology description. We need to have these descriptions, short stories about the technology, uh, then to go further on to make ethical analysis of these te technologies. So there, they are illustrative uh, examples of the technologies. They give uh, a short history of the technology, and then we go describing the application areas, and we try to find uh, a diverse descriptions of those applications. Two to be able to find uh, varied, different kind of defining features for these technologies. And then we also uh, describe how these technologies, the big visions, are related to other big visions, or how the, what are the enabling techniques behind these technologies. And then also in this short descriptions, we already can have a short uh, Cuts on critical issues, but it's more a uh, work of a uh, work but it's due to make ethical analysis for these technologies. Okay, like I said, it's a huge work. There are lots of documents. We went through, uh, uh, of course, uh, research programs, research project uh, uh, institutes, research um, uh, industry, uh, which is making also a research in emerging technologies, in emerging ICTs. So, see, we extract, okay, so, okay. So, we kind of, um, in this process, come to this list at the moment. These are the main visions we've uh, found when we are talking about emerging ICTs. Effective computing, ambient intelligence, artificial intelligence, high electronics, cloud computing, future internet, human machine symbiosis, real electronics, quantum computing, robotics, synthetic biology. I'm not sure if it's still on the list, probably not. <laughs> yeah, virtual augmented reality. And of course, you can see already when you're looking at that list that they are overlaying, they are quite uh, deeply related to each other and you can map them differently, look at them from different perspectives and you can see probably that maybe the ambient intelligence is the 
big vision that everyone else is uh, related. But of course, you, if you come from a robotics development, you said that maybe the robotics is the, even the bigger vision. But well, there's a debate. Uh, like uh, Bern said, we have uh, followed the discourses which are going on research and industry. And you can find uh, uh, several different kind of mappings, for example, for technologies. But we have chose uh, those ones to be the big ones. They are related to each other, but they are enough really different from each other that you can find uh, good defining features. And here is an example from ambient intelligence. So the main features, defining features for ambient intelligence are that it is embedded, it's interconnected, it's adaptive, personalized, anticipatory, context aware, and it tries to develop and use novel interaction paradigms. So here's the picture. Uh, which kind of describes the ambient intelligence. It's embedded everywhere, RFID tags, smart tasks, things like that. It should be personalized, it should be context aware, it should use novel interaction paradigms. I'm not saying if it's good or bad, it's so, it, it is just the features that are described in the discourse. So, we did this kind of um, uh, Technology descriptions for all these uh, 12 or 11 main visions. And I'm just sorting, showing because I don't have too much time, these uh, characteristics. For example, hmm? four minutes still, okay. Yeah, that's even too much. <laughs> but let's say, uh, for MBD intelligence, I already mentioned the uh, defining features, characteristics for effective computing. Like Bernd said in the first uh, presentation, it's more like that you, the technology, the applications should uh, uh, notice your emotions, your emotions should be uh, utilized in applications and also other way around, the technology should somehow probably express emotions. Let's go further on. Intelligence is a big word. Uh, artificial, artificial intelligence of course has a long history. But still, when we are talking more about the uh, of a weak artificial intelligence, we are waiting if if if, the, if it's going to be uh, a stronger one. Uh, Pio elephants miniaturization is also a, a, a strong defining feature, overlaying also almost all these uh, big technology visions. Cloud computing is something that uh, has been there, let's say, around uh, from 60s anyway. Now it's, ha it's having a new hype, I think. Well, I think that uh, it will uh, have a strong, strong impact, let's say, 10 to 15 years when it's developed. Uh, there is a strong uh, trend to emphasize em efficiency of resource sharing, and also it's, there is a belief that it will ease of using uh, ICT technologies very much. When you are having applications, software somewhere else, not in your own computer, but of course there is still uh, also some ethical or critical issues when you are talking about cloud computing. Uh, future Internet, it's more like a research program closely related to the ambient intelligence or, or uh, Internet of Things. Same uh, characteristics. One minute. One minute. So it goes so quickly. <laughs> okay. So, augmenta augmentation in human machine symbiosis. Uh, in neuroelectronics, you are trying to extract information from brains, utilize that information in applications. In quantum computing, it's really interesting. The big uh, hope is that it, it will help because it's so much faster the computational uh, power, that so it could provide uh, power for special purposes, for simulation, and things like that. So let's go further on. Uh, in robotics, I think this, these are kind of technical features, but then what is the main uh, feature when you think, think about uh, what is the impact to humans? It 
it, it is that it shifts into tasks from human to machines. Then you have some synthetic biology where you can probably even build a new biological parts for humans and then virtual and augmented reality. And all these have uh, application areas but also lots of critical social ethical issues. And if you put this, all these defining features to the virtual, you get this kind of picture. So, to make it more simple, yeah, I'll, huh, I will do. So, I think that these, these are the main characteristics that we have found at this point. Because we are still analyzing this, uh, uh, our descriptions of technology. The convergence, malleability, transdisciplinary, uh, they are the big words for future emerging ICT, invisibility. Uh, but what happens then to the user? Is he still in control of these uh, applications and uh, services? Complexity, but then you also try to emphasize uh, simplicity. Intelligence, lots of things are now efficiency driven. Automation still is a big word here. Virtuality. Uh, in communication, in services, in, 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 in uh, uh, for example, in games, it's coming uh, uh, very fast and probably has a huge impact in future. And like I said, in quantum computing, the computing power, that's uh, what they are hoping to get, but there is a trend for slow life, so there's kind of tension between to be a faster in every task, but you want to have a slow life. And human augmentation uh, in many of those big visions is coming on in different kind of a way. Yeah, okay, last slide. So, the conclusion is, do we want to have to human-driven or technology-driven society? So, next speakers will give some answers to this. Thank you very much. So, VTT creates business from technology. This is a business track, so Ethica will create business from ethical thinking. Thank you very much. <laughs>